sit down, meditate. It's going to be good on video. Do stand up. Hey, this is Warren Redlick, and now for something completely different. Ellie from Ellie in Space and I are making the fitness videos. Here's the first one. Are you ready? Let's go! Ellie is helping me get in shape. For those who don't know, I've been out of shape for a long time. I started getting in shape. I've been working out, and Ellie is offering me some new exercises. Today we're doing core, which is like abdomen, back, side. But, you know, it's easy for guys to focus on their arms. It's, we focus less on our legs, and very and a lot of people who work out don't focus on their core. I've been having particularly issues with my abs, and I have a long-standing uh, lower back issue. It's no, nothing serious, but like I want to get my abs in better shape, I want to get my back in better shape, and just overall core condition is important for my long-term health and fitness. I know there is a myth that to get abs you need to do several crunches. That's actually not so much true. Getting visible abs really comes down to your diet and also doing compound exercises like the squat, like the deadlift. Those are working like your big muscle groups together. But really seeing abs kind of comes down to your diet. But it's still important to train for at least once or twice a week. So here are some exercises that I'm teaching you that really focus on core and some of them also incorporate, you know, legs and other parts of your body. And some of this might be funny. Disclosure, I'm not a personal trainer and never have been. We're just having fun. We're just having fun. And we're going to have fun with this big ball. So this is a pipe plank. So I'm going to start in a plank. So this might be enough for some of you. <laughs> but I'm going to pipe up. And then I can go back down. And what I want to do is I'm focusing on my core to hollow out. Instead of instead of like this, this is a mistake people make. Focusing your core meaning your abdominal muscles and your back muscles? Yeah, I'm hollowing out my core, and that's what I'm using to draw my body up versus versus just crunching my legs. Yes. There you go. See the idea? Yep. Yep. I'm gonna go back down. I feel like I didn't go that high. No, you didn't. Do you feel it? Okay, go back down. And you're gonna really think about drawing your hips up. So again, more, more. Okay, I'm gonna go back down. Do you feel that? <laughs> Um, I feel it like all, I don't feel, I'm not feeling it in the abdomen. Is it a flexibility thing? I don't know. Okay. It's just an overall conditioning thing. Mm -hmm. Like I, I'm just out of shape and I'm trying to figure out what am I doing here. I also feel like my feet get caught on the ball and the ball doesn't want to roll further in. Yeah. It's Probably because I don't have the strength to move it. There's so many plank exercises mm -hmm. you can do with the ball. Whether it's like this. Yeah. This is just a nice way to hold a plank. And the advantage of using the ball is it makes you work on balance more? Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, look at, even even as I'm like static here, it's moving. So I really have to focus on balance and I'm using my core more mm -hmm. than if I were just like this. Yeah. There you go. I'm glad no, your hips a little bit. What's that? Flatten out your hips, there you go. Good job. Pull, pull in my stomach while I do it. Yeah. So that's a good one just to <laughs> hang out for 30 seconds. It's hard to stay balanced. So this one is all about balance. It's a single leg exercise and it I think it's harder than it looks. I sometimes struggle if I get a little bit unfocused then I it doesn't look so good. So I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go back up. I'm going to get a little front. Our Mr. Balance. That's going to be the most popular angle. Ah, see, even just a little bit of distraction from someone. So this is very similar to like the, the uh, Romanian deadlift, I think, where you basically are, instead of going down and deadlifting, you're focused on keeping your legs straight, but the difference with this one is you're doing a single leg 
which requires more stability of the core. So, my turn. It's your turn. Should I pick a lighter weight for my own safety? No. Are oh, you going to do it one handed? I don't know. Do it two handed? Is that the idea? You can try it both. <laughs> How am I doing? What can I do better? Um, you're going fairly slow. Oh, you want to go faster? <laughs> So the only thing I would say is, yeah, there we go, there we go. You right. feel how you really have to stay focused yes. to keep your balance. Yes, but this is like, for those who don't know, I do Tai Chi and Qigong, and that's a very balance-oriented exercise. Warren has even done Tai Chi at the airport, which still cracks me out to this day. <laughs> I think I did Qigong at the airport. Okay. Well, I have done Qigong, I have done both. same thing to me. Yeah. Next series, I'm gonna teach Ellie she gone. I love it. That's not going to happen. I do it. I'm going a little bit faster though. Yes. I'm good at balance. That's one of my strengths. I think Ellie is more of a fast twitch, super athletic. I've been like told that. Huh? I've been told that. And I'm not a fast. I, I have been fast twitch in the Okay, past. explain to people what the heck that even means. A sprinter is fast twitch, a marathon runner is slow twitch. A sprinter runs really fast in a short burst. A, or or climbs. Well, when you're climbing, you have to take your time, though. But yeah, you don't want to waste too much time, though, because then you're like really, you get tired. You get fatigued. And also, I'm slightly older than Ellie, and my goals are slightly different. <laughs> I actually think, for balance purposes, that the goal is balance and core. I don't think it matters how fast you go. True. If you're trying to get your heart rate up, yes. Then speed is faster, and then probably when you get because I've never done that exercise before. Okay. Probably when you get better at an exercise like that maybe you can do it faster right but i actually find it there's there's a challenge in doing it slow mm -hmm. the important thing with this one is not just to throw the ball up in the air but you're going to lower and actually extend your arms behind you and then throw it up again so this is core this is kind of some arms this is a little bit heavy so hopefully i don't drop it on myself but if i do i have someone here to rescue me i'm going to start like this we're gonna sit up, throw up. I like the ball part. I'm not sure about that sitting up part. I'm gonna do that. No. I want you to try with a little lighter one. I'm gonna do a lighter ball for sure. <laughs> there, we do this though. Can you do this? Yeah, of course. How about this? <laughs> uh, let me try both of them. Okay, now I've said yeah, of course. Not bad. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what's the other one? No. It's a basketball. <laughs> Alright, I got one more for you. Oh. We're gonna use a lighter ball for the next one. <laughs> Oh, Am I ready for the court? All right. Oh my God. What? <laughs> you gotta, you gotta flip it up a little bit as you need it. All right, so my basketball skills may be better than yours. So I start. Yep. Now you're gonna make sure you put oh, your it. hands all the way behind you. Yes. Yeah. Good job. Yep. Oh, okay, whatever, baller. <laughs> One-handed. So it's really nice. So it's really like, you know, a lot going on if you put your arms behind your head. Yes. That really just adds to the uh, the crunch. Uh, you know what helps is the sit up's hard, but the motion of the ball makes the sit up easier. Yeah. Uh, I surrender. I'm gonna sit cross legged. Okay. And then I'm gonna stand up. All right. I'm gonna cheat. Someone said I can do it. All right, first try. And again. 
sit down, meditate, oh. <laughs> and elevate, enlightenment. <laughs> I do not have. Uh, I should not laugh at my clients. That's funny. That's funny. That's harder than I thought. So you were saying you'd like to do this exercise. Oh yeah, yeah. Where we're gonna go here, and you can either do like crunches. Yeah. Or you can do straight leg or oh, bicycle. Do bicycle. Yeah. You could do L sit, which is really hard. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I'll try it. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. All right. So first step is just getting up here. Yeah, don't do that, Austin. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Nice. Now do the bicycle with your legs like split up. Yeah, run. Yeah, there you go. It's hard to stay down. nothing to do with velocity it has everything to do with stamina are you with me all right let's go as Warren says let's go so we are going to sit up and there's this version which I don't think is terribly hard if this is too hard you can do a modified version where your knees are bent and you're still you know hollowing out your body and feeling it in your core but I like doing the hard way where you're really piking your body and you're gonna feel it in your core. Maybe in your maybe in your quads too. Have you guys noticed she's still doing it and she hasn't stopped? Hey Warren, so I want you to try it. It's my turn. I want you to try it and then we're gonna and then we're gonna duel. Okay. Are you supposed to be reaching there? Yes. <laughs> How is that? Uh, Okay. You're not piking quite as much. <laughs> but we can This was the easy one. This was the easy one, right? Yes. But I want your your um, arms to be lower. Yeah, there you go. Do you feel anything in your core? Yeah. Okay. Alright. It's also like a balance thing where like I know my feet up it wants to go over this way. So I think that B sit much like the hollow hold, which actually the hollow holds even harder. And I'll show you that in a second. But that's a good one, I think, just to do, you know, 30 seconds, a couple rounds. Okay, great, you're ready for the challenge. You ready? Yes. It is a balancing. So you went on two ways, because your, way, your form is better, three ways. Your form is better, you're better looking, and you're definitely gonna last. Like, I'm not even reaching up near my feet the same way you are. I think you won. To be fair, my abdominals are my biggest feature. I've been working on that. It's a really easy stretch. Beginners can do it. It's not like it's hard. Right. I can go here. I can go here. I can't go further than that. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel this. Uh -huh. I especially feel it here. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do the other side just for... I can do it here. 
That's better than a lot of people. I know. That's pretty good for you. Okay, what about... Oh, that's good. I can probably do that. That seems like it's good for my neck, though. Just doing it <laughs> like freestanding, you can do it against the wall. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm just not doing it. Okay, that. what about this? What about this? I am not doing that. Work with me, work with me. What about this? That's the first of our videos. We got at least one more coming. Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks to the Vasa Law Firm in Sweden and all my Patreon supporters for helping this channel grow. And please support Ellie's channel on Patreon. Links to both in the description below. Please support my locals channel, warrenredlick.locals.com. And thank you so much for watching.